my channel my name is adora and this is life with adabeke if this is your very first time seeing my face hi holla what's up what's popping what's happening oh, i don't know and all of them like let me know in the comments like what made you click how did you find this video so i can keep putting the video that place and if you're a returner if this is not your first time hi Close waiting this up. Okay, you guys, you probably saw my little prep of my fish wrap. I'm pescatarian. For those of you who might be wondering, why is she eating fish with shawarma? Like I'm pescatarian, I don't eat meat. Yeah, <laughs> I don't eat meat, so I eat seafood, fish, all of that stuff. So I'm having like um fish shawarma or fish wrap, however you want to call it. I eat this regularly, like recently. I don't know why. I've just, it's just, I just always crave it and I make it very easy to make, like you guys. As I was, you know, making this, I was like, let me sit in my kitchen and just with you guys. Like, let's just have a little eat with me. And let me tell you the story uh, how they almost kidnapped me in this America. So, you guys, in my last video, everybody was like, my friends were like, you guys, you were so sad in that video, blah, blah, blah. So, but today's video is, is not a sad video. But, you almost collected your sis in this America, you guys. Come on, you drop me. Come on, you drop me with me. <laughs> you almost collected your sis in this America. So what happened was that um, I ordered a package, normal Amazon package. I forgot what I ordered, but this was back in last July. I ordered a package, and. My package took a was taking a while to come and this was there, was there was a time i don't know if people remember there was a time last year Sha, where packages were taking a long time to come like you order something something that might take like two three days to come it will not come in that um, amount of time and especially amazon that they come quick i have prime like it was not coming fast like and i i messaged amazon they said like oh that there is delay blah blah blah, blah. message them i think my package after a week and I've not seen my package, I messaged them again. And I was like, at this point, can I just cancel the package? Like, since the package is not coming, let me just cancel it, right? Omo. They told me. They told me I can't cancel it again. Darada. What I have to do. Is I have to wait for the package to be delivered and then when it's not delivered I can now return it but as that the package they said that the package has left their warehouse so they can't cancel it I said no problem that was how I waited though another week passed only for me so the way my apartment was like there is the main apartment door that has like the apartment code and everything and then before you now get into your own apartment that has your own key and all of that this was my former apartment, not this particular one so, I live in now. I was, I don't know where I went, 
but I was coming back and then I now saw something on the door that had my name. You know how like sometimes when this USPS or FedEx, all these um, postals, if they can't get into you, but they leave you a slip, a note that says, oh, that you should come and pick whatever it is that you're picking or at a particular address or they will try again to deliver to you and if they don't, that you can come and pick it. Okay, the, and also the one that had, he had my name on it. So I was like, oh, these people, they finally attempted to deliver this, my package. And he said, oh, that I should come and pick it in a particular address. I think I have a picture of that slip. I'll put, I'll attach it. So he said I should come and pick it in that. So I just took it and kept it with me. So because this was very close to my MCAT date. So this was around June, actually. This whole thing happened around June. So I took my MCAT and literally the day before my MCAT, you know, they say don't study before your MCAT and everything. So I was just like trying to use that day to run a few errands. So I was like, oh, let me go and pick that my package that um, was even supposed to come. Um, I took the thing, put in the address for the where they said I should go and pick up my package. I put it in and fair driving. I thought it was about 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes away. So I driving, I was like, no while. Um, as I was driving, driving, I also realizing that I was getting into the bad part of town. Anybody that knows St. Louis knows that. Hmm, St. Louis can be nice, but there's also the parts of St. Louis that, hey, hey, it's not really a good part of town, Sha. But I realized I was driving and getting into the bad part of town. And I was on the phone with my sisters, you know, with one of my sisters at that point. So I was just like, Hmm, you guys know, I'm driving this thing and like it's looking very sketchy, but let me keep going because do I know, I, I've not been in this area, so I don't know whether that's where the US was. Well. But I reached the um, location and I looked around. There is, the, first of all, it was in a residential area and there was no, no building there. Like as in the building that was there was like an, like an abandoned-ish building. And I looked at my Google Maps looked at the address, looked at my Google Maps again, looked at the address, and I was like, it's saying this is the place, and I know this is the place that it's saying, down to the zip code, everything, this is the location. And it was abandoned. Unfortunately, I did not take any pictures of the place, but it was completely abandoned, like, as in, like, literally, the, the lot right next to it was not even a, was an overgrown lot. So the main place was, like, broken glasses, everything. Like, it was on a very quiet road. Like, I was just like, where am I? Where am I? And like the building that it was was just very very sketchy i just pulled over and i was like i don't like this place i am so i now like literally went into the next street and then parked there and i was like i was like what the hell is going on i now took that my sleep right took that sleep at the back of the sleep there is a number that you can call you can call us here um you can call ups with on that number so i called them and they asked me for what, as in, because, you know, each of that slip that they tear, it has, like, its own unique identifier, so they know, and it's attached to the packet. I called them, I was like, please, blah, blah, I'm here, blah, and I was on. They now put in the number that I gave them as the slip thing, and you guys, they told me that that slip number does not exist. Not that it's cancelled, not that the others, it does not exist, as in, how can the paper that was left for me to use to come and pick up my package you're telling me that that number does not exist in your system so how did as in where did it now come from like how does it not exist in your system you guys hey that was when my heart just said you know G -g 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 -g, on a massive G -g -g, as in, i was just like what is going on hey that was when I, my alarm bells were already ringing but once i called and they said that that thing was did not exist hmm, all hell started to break loose in my head everywhere <laughs> you understand so i now just said okay you people are saying does not exist, no wahala. I now called Amazon and now told them what's going on. I was like, this is what's happening, blah, blah. They now looked and it was like that, oh, it is that the package is not out for delivery yet. And I was like, what is now happening? You, hey, <laughs> that, I was like, so pack, Amazon is saying that the package is not out for delivery. UPS is telling me that the slip that was on my door on my apartment is not, that it does not exist. So who left this thing here? Who left it here? Like, how, for the person to know my address, to know I was expecting a delivery, and to know my name, to even put there, like, as in the, the way they fill out that form that they leave for you. So, who left it here? Oh, 
I was, you know, very shaken up. I left that place immediately, told my sisters about it. Amazon, like, was like, they were, you know, they were apologized, they were like that. And I think I got my thing, like, within the next three days after that. Only for me to be on Twitter, for me to now find out, hmm, I now found out on Twitter that this thing happens regularly, like, as in, that there are people who kind of like it's like a sex trafficking human trafficking ring and that's one of their their ways tactics to get people i don't know like as they probably have people in these post office places that know how they get their information but they have their people who can who have access to people's information and data and can do things like that so i just saw that on twitter i don't know how verified it is but like it was just so scary to me because when i tell you guys this place was abandoned there was nobody there hey i was so scared and for th that place to be posing as an official like business place hmm. this world is scary has anybody had something like that happen to them before like that day i was so shooken up like because this St. Louis is kind of dangerous and actually has a, a high human trafficking issue in this area. I don't know why that is, but this area has like human trafficking issues. So it's just very, very scary that that kind of thing can be happening. They don't want to kidnap your girl. Though. If anybody has gone through that, let me know if like something similar has happened to you or somebody that you know. Tell me. But... I'm still going to be enjoying my shawarma. I wish you guys could enjoy it with me. But unfortunately, that's not the case. Mm. But it's very delicious. Thank you so much for watching. Like, this was kind of a different video. You know, I like to give you guys small, small stories here and there, story times. But I just decided to sit in my kitchen and eat this. This is not a regular scene. Do you guys like my kitchen? Do you like how it is? Like we try, we keep, we like, we like, we organize our kitchen. Our kitchen is nice. Me and my sisters. But thank you so much for watching. As always, continue to like, comment, share, share this video, share it. Tell one person about me. You who are about two hundred and almost three hundred subscribers. Tell one person about. Let's get to that three hundred. You understand? You know the goal um, I have right now is five hundred. So, but we need to make small, small goals. Let's get to that 300. Tell somebody about me, okay? And then as always, continue to subscribe if you're just seeing my face. Like, thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Bye. <laughs>